Before she achieved the role of Rachel Zane on Suits, Meghan Markle was a briefcase model on Deal or No Deal, appearing in 34 episodes as case holder number 24 between 2006 and 2007. The former actress told Paris Hilton that she was objectified as a bimbo while on the game show. However, this is where the situation gets murky. Also, this is coming from the woman whose husband told people to quit their jobs if they were unhappy. There has been speculation that the whole point of Meghan bringing her so-called experiences of being a bimbo to light is to get back at Howie Mandel. Information came out that woman was fired from the show and didn't quit as she wants to remember. Meghan is coyly vengeful. She wants revenge on all those who didn't give her what she wanted during her time in Hollywood as an actress. It's being said that many of the briefcase girls who stood out to production would have microphones on them. Unfortunately, it seems that Markle was not one of them. She was only on the show for 34 episodes. Given that multiple episodes were shot in a day, 34 episodes was likely the equivalent of only a couple of months' work. Megan is a quitter, and then she blames everyone else for her quitting. She only got into Hollywood because she got a leg up from her father and Trevor, her ex-husband. Megan Markle is getting backlash for bimbo claims. She's throwing mud at her past jobs, opportunities she got who actually brought her to where she is today. It's no wonder that no other media companies want to take her and Harry on. Other Deal or No Deal hostesses came out and denied her portrayal of the job. The way they were treated and denied that they were treated like bimbos. She slams the things she's doing today. Isn't she using tones of tan spray? Isn't she using fake eyelashes and goes through all sorts of plastic procedures? The hypocrisy is screaming. According to Tom Bauer's book, the show allowed her access to Hollywood parties in which she allowed to stay till the end and allowed her to meet prominent people. Needless to say, many reviewers and critics have taken aim at Meghan's claims. Royal biographer Angela Levin said that's very attractive Meghan didn't have to take the job and could have said no, adding that the fact she chose to do it means she wanted it. Ricky Schlott in the New York Post said that being praised for your looks very literally the job description on the show and added that no briefcase girl showed up expecting to be celebrated for her brains. Hillary Rose in the Times penned a sarcastic review noting how listeners had learnt that envy can be a dangerous thing, adding this was perhaps especially true when you fancy living in a castle but get given a poxy cottage called Frogmore instead, a reference to the Sussexes' living arrangements when they were based in the UK. US commentator Kat Timpf said Meghan spoke as if she was describing some really serious trauma that she went through, even though she just opened a briefcase. She added that briefcase girls are paid to look at attractive and would have known that when they signed up. Richard Madeley on Good Morning Britain asked, is there anything Meghan Markle won't moan about before highlighting how Meghan's Deal or No Deal co-star Claudia Jordan had refuted the claims? And Spectator World's Cockburn columnist said, we used to Meghan's attempts to rewrite history before asking if it was a running theme for the royal to walk out on a job because not every aspect of it was suited to her.